Well, hey guys, welcome back. Today I am sharing another Simply Good and Beautiful math video. Today we're gonna to be talking about Simply Good and Beautiful Math Level 2. I am so excited to share this with you guys. I was looking through it, getting all geeked about our upcoming school year, and I think you guys are really, really gonna enjoy it. is in partnership with The Good and the Beautiful. I always feel so blessed to be able to partner with such an honorable and great company that stands for so many amazing things. So thanks again to The Good and the Beautiful for sponsoring today's video. So welcome back if you have been a part of this community and welcome if you're new. My name's Jamie, I'm a homeschooling mom of five. We have been homeschooling since my kids were in preschool and kindergarten and we have been using The Good and the Beautiful's curriculum basically exclusively with all of my kids. So I've used their science, language arts, uh, we're working through history right now, and their math. And I have shared all of that curriculum in a ton of videos, so I will link some cards up here if you're interested in seeing uh, some more of the curriculum that The Good and the Beautiful offers. If you'd like to see hands-on usage of it during lessons and reviews, all of those things, I will link those up there for you guys so you can check those out if you're interested in seeing those. Um, but I am going to be talking about Simply Good and Beautiful Math 2. They just released this. I have the math levels one and two from the original Good and Beautiful Math, um, and those came in separate books but the same kit. So if you guys are familiar, they've got like, they used to have the big kits. Uh, they had a box and it had all of the board games and manipulatives inside of it, and it was designed to be used for both levels one and levels two as well as two textbooks uh, for level two. And so the Simply Good and Beautiful Math 2 has its own kit this time, and this is what the box looks like. Isn't that so cute? I, my minimalist heart really likes the fact that they use the cover for a clock, because if you guys are like me, all of the little things get lost all over your house. It comes with one textbook this time. It does not have two, it has one. And its binding is flat. It doesn't have the coil binding, which I appreciate. I like the fact that I can just lay this open flat. And um, it does have the perforated pages. So if I want to tear the page out, I can. Those are two differences. There's one textbook this time versus two. And there is just this small little box and it just slides open just like this, just like the Simply Good and Beautiful Math K does. Um, and then inside of this, you will see there are five separate manipulatives. You've got um, a bag of coins, a little pack of fake money, some blocks, and a dice. These really cool little pieces. You guys look at this. There's a rocket. Look at that rocket, you guys. How cute is that? And these are heavy too, I'm really impressed. These are really nice and sturdy. There's a little old school airplane. There's a not so old school airplane. And this little helicopter. So those will be really fun. I'm really surprised at how heavy they feel. They are super high quality, very nice and heavy. So those are cool. So these little manipulative pieces. And then next to those are these little wood square pieces that have numbers and it looks like different kinds of stars on the other side. So these manipulatives will be used with the lessons as well as the clock on the very front that will help with time telling. So my initial thoughts while going through this new Simply Good and Beautiful Math 2 course book is that it really incorporates all of the good and beautiful things from the original Math 2 and then also addresses some of the areas that I think were a little overwhelming for some of us. Uh, it seems very concise. As you read through it, as you read through the days, 
Most of the days are two pages long. It gets to the point of what it's teaching, but it also offers a little bit of storyline in it. It offers a beautiful photos and illustrations, which we all know and love from the good and the beautiful. So it's not lacking in any of those areas while becoming a little bit more concise and simplistic in its teaching style. I love the fact that they didn't sacrifice how beautiful their curriculum is for it to be more simplistic, um, but it really just, I feel like is gonna be a lot more user friendly. Let's go ahead and jump right on in to the actual curriculum itself. We'll do a full flip through. I'm gonna share with you all the concepts that this specific level goes over. So as you're going through this, um, you might be able to get a better idea as you're seeing each of the pages if this would be the right level for your children. But please keep in mind that The Good and the Beautiful offers an assessment on their website as well. So you're gonna to wanna to go to the math section and you can go to the assessment, print it off for your child, have your child take the assessment, and that will give you a much better idea of where exactly your child is going to fall. So opening up, you are going to see bright colors. That's the first thing I noticed, is that even if this is simplistic, it is still bright and beautiful. The table of contents is going to show you that this specific level is broken up into four units, which I appreciate because it makes it really easy for me to look at the semesters of a year and just kind of break it down and get a good idea of where I wanna be as far as where our half year is gonna land. Um, it gives me kind of a good idea of how how we are doing throughout the year if I need to maybe um, add on an extra day um, or if we're doing really good and it's okay if I take a Friday off, you know? So I, I appreciate that. So as you can see, um, the amount that is covered in this specific level is pretty amazing. You're starting off talking about place value to the hundreds and counting money, and then you're ending with the last unit focusing on quadrilaterals, uh, different forms of measurement, area, all of those things. So it really does cover a lot throughout this entire level. As you move on to the next page, it's gonna give you a little bit of information about the course itself. It's gonna go over different supplies needed uh, and then an organization of the course itself and what it's broken down into. So the course book serves as the teacher's guide. So you don't need a separate teacher's guide. It is all inside of this course. One less thing for me to lose, praise the Lord above. The course has 120 lessons and those also have a course assessment and separate unit assessments inside of it as well. So this specific level is set up for you to do four lessons a week. And then if you do four lessons a week, that will also give you about four weeks extra for sick breaks, vacation time, um, life changes, having babies, you know, all the things. And so there really is a lot of wiggle room in here. If you wanna do five lessons a week, girl, you do five lessons a week. If you wanna do three lessons a week and you don't need that extra four weeks, then you just do you. You only do three lessons a week. But this is set up so that it will accommodate a four day a week homeschool week um, with also an extra month for you to play around with those days and utilize them as you need to. This also talks about the daily lessons and how those are break broken down and then the next page next to it goes over the frequently asked questions. All right, so let's jump into unit one overview. These first few lessons, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna walk you through what each of the pages look like, how the lessons are kind of set up just to give you an overview and a feel for what it looks like. And then I will stop talking, I promise, and we'll flip through and you can just look through the course book yourself um, and then just enjoy all of the illustrations and the good and beautiful aspects of this new Simply Good and Beautiful Math Level 2. Every unit is gonna start off with an overview. It's gonna talk about new concepts taught as well as any supplies needed towards the top of the page. And then underneath the extra supplies needed, it will give you some parent-teacher tips um, for you to just keep in mind as you're going through the unit. Lesson one, place value to the hundreds. 
underneath the title of the lesson, it's gonna give you a review option. So if you would like, if you feel like it would be beneficial, you can start the lesson out by reviewing um, that small portion that's underneath the title. So for instance, today's review is going to be skip counting. Have the child count by tens from 100 to 300. You're gonna see that you're gonna start off by writing 32 on the whiteboard and you're gonna read the black portion to the child. Then you're gonna move on using your whiteboard as you continue through. And you can see that as you go through this, it really does give you what you should read to your child and how to explain it. So moving through the lesson, you'll see that it shows what hundreds, tens, and ones looks like when you break it down. As you turn the page, it's gonna end with a little story about Ebony's butterfly farm and then it will move on to a page of independent review for the children. Moving on to lesson two, the focus is on identifying and writing numbers to a thousand. The optional review is odd numbers and counting backward. Have the child tell you what every odd number ends with. Have the child skip count by odd numbers from one to 25. And have the child count backward from 20 to one. An extra item that you'll want to have for this lesson is a bowl. So the lesson will start off by looking at a picture of a flock of birds and reading that specific paragraph to the child, asking questions about that picture. You'll see that there's some review of your hundreds, tens, and ones place that was talked about in lesson one. And then it goes right into an independent review for the children to do on their own. Lesson three is gonna focus on skip counting by 50s. So optional review is spelling numbers one to 10. On a whiteboard, have the child spell numbers one to 10. If the child misspells any of the words, write them on an index card and practice them each day until mastered. Or have the child watch these videos on the Good and the Beautiful's kids YouTube channel. How to spell one, two, three, how to spell four, five, six, and how to spell seven, eight, and nine. If you guys haven't checked out the Good and Beautiful Kids YouTube channel, you definitely want to. There's a ton of resources on there that you can utilize um, with your homeschool as you go through your homeschool and you use the Good and the Beautiful's curriculum with your kids. So starting off with lesson three, it says if you look closely at the world outside, you will see the importance of numbers. They aren't hanging from the trees as a one or an eight or a five or an eight, but they are there. God is the master mathematician and we will study many of his divine patterns and math principles in this course. So the Good and the Beautiful is a creation-based curriculum that recognizes God as the creator. It is non-denominational and they refer to God and they refer to Jesus. You will see Bible verses that are inside of the curriculum woven through and also an acknowledgement of the creator creating the world. So it's always awesome when you go through the math curriculum and the science and the language art and you just see an acknowledgement of God and you see um, the acknowledgement that he is the creator and he did create this world. And when he created this world, he used beautiful patterns and math principles inside of it. So I love that they acknowledge him as the master mathematician.
So as you guys can see, the Simply Good and Beautiful Math Level 2 is just that. It is simply good and beautiful. I'm really impressed at the good and the beautiful's ability to make this math program, I believe, just such a great fit for so, so many families. Uh, they really listened in to the needs of so many of us homeschool moms, and I feel like they met those needs in a beautiful way. Um, so I will have a link down below for the Good and the Beautiful's website where you can check out this curriculum for yourself. They also have the PDF version of this available on their website for free, which is amazing. But if you know anything about the Good and the Beautiful and the founder, Jenny Phillips, her heart, then it should not be surprising to you guys at all. Please feel free to comment down below your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about this new curriculum, this new format for their math. It's really exciting to me. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.